What's up, bros and hoes, whatever floats your goat? It's Relentless back again with a, another build video. Uh, before we get into the video, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. There's an awesome Gleam uh, link. Click on that, follow the steps, and be entered in to win a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One S X. That would be the first prize. Second prize will be a game of choice. Third prize will be a Revolution Gaming Limited Edition t-shirt. Also, check out Revolution Gaming Facebook community. Their link is in the description below. Most positive, non-toxic community out there on all things gaming, not just Division. But without further ado, and enough talking, let's hop right into this. And let me explain. This is how I decide on how to run a overall build as far as how to roll things. I roll everything firearms except for one thing electronics. <clears throat> and that is just to reach the 3832 to unlock certain talents on my weapon. And yes, I know that you can have 3000 in stamina and yet still achieve around 290 toughness. So uh, I already know this. Um, but this is how I roll, th roll things, and this is uh, just going along with what mods that I actually have in my possession, so, uh, because the RNG gods have not been good to me at all. I have probably went through 3,000 division tech, or trying to roll certain mods for certain things, and it just hasn't worked out. So I just use what I have, and this is what I come up with. But first, let's get into the weapons. Navy MP5, 19.7 base, with competent, brutal, fierce, and vicious. Yes, for that extra crit. Um, also, if I don't want to go that route, then I can always go with a black market sausage with brutal, responsive, competent, and either fierce or unforgiving, which is I'd probably go with the unforgiving over the fierce. Um, as far as weapons, I would go with the lightweight M4, brutal, adept, and fierce, accompanied with talented, and that's if I switch up my masks, uh, which is... Uh, based on firearms instead of skill power, and that would lower my skill power to around 115 to 120, and that would up my firearms well over um, about 8,800, so to speak, uh, counting mods. So the increased 15% skill power with the talented as in the fourth slot running alpha bridge, so killing a target, I would get a 15% increase, which roughly uh, equates to that would put me around 130, 132k skill power. So, but, you know, I'm an SMG guy, and if I chose to, I would go with um, a shotgun instead. But anyways, let's get back to the way it's modded, and it's magazine size, crit hit chance, rate of fire, the trifecta on the small optics, which is crit hit damage, crit hit chance, headshot damage, small muzzle, the trifecta again, crit hit damage, headshot damage, crit hit chance, and then in the small underbarrel, crit hit damage, accuracy, and reload speed. Because you don't really need stability when it comes to an MP5. But let's jump right into the gear. 10.5% um, exotic damage resilience. That helps out for those seeker mines. And 15.855 in health. I have a decent base armor of 1962. And the minor attributes when running Alpha Bridge, um, since you're feeding off the same ammo and can't switch weapons, I prefer in the minor attribute spot being ammo capacity. And in the mod slots, I have 250 firearms with skill power and another 245 firearms with skill power. I wish they were better mods. Uh, hopefully I'll keep rolling and I will find actually uh, better mods. Moving on to the mask, 977 base armor, which is not too bad. 1253 electronics, 8804 skill power, and the minor attributes doesn't really matter because it's cre increased kill XP. Prefer like maybe bleed resistance, burn resistance, shock resistance, something along that, that area. And in the mod slot, 253 firearms, and you guessed it, skill power. Uh, if I chose to, I could run this mask and go firearms and have an additional 10% exotic damage. And as you can see, my skill power drops uh, dramatically. Um, and then I wouldn't have certain talents unlocked on my gun because I would not reach the 38, uh, 32 that is necessary and required. But with the proper mods, I could still reach that and have all the talents unlocked. Um, but basically, I would just switch up SMGs, and that way I would have at least 20% exotic damage resilience because you run into a, a lot of Seeker Mines in the DZ and also in Last Stand. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the knee pass, 1607, 1266 in stamina, and 15944 in health. But if I chose to, um, I would roll the stamina off of that 
and put it into firearms and then that way I could use actually um, stamina mods with skill power to compensate and counteract if I had it by choice and I could do it this way then that's what it would be um, instead of stamina this would be firearms and hopefully this is just a filler piece for now but as you can see overall um, I have great survivability and also I dish out enough damage when it comes to my crits and crit damage and in the mod slots 265 firearms skill power and first aid self heal moving on to the backpack specialized backpack 1269 and firearms 1308 uh, armor roll, which is great. Uh, major attributes is 13,257 health and bleed resistance in the minor. And in the mod slot, 264 stamina with 3,074 health. I could easily uh, switch that into additional firearms and skill power. Um, but I actually do not have a fi another firearms and skill power mod, or I would do that. But it really wouldn't make that much difference um, adding, say, a 265 and uh, additional firearms would equate to around three to 400 more damage. <coughs> so it still works out well here. Um, but like I said, with better mods and better uh, RNG Jesus being great to you, um, you could actually prepare and actually get better mods than the ones that I have. But as far as toughness, skill power, and the damage I actually put out, it's quite sufficient and you have lots of survivability in the DZ or in PVE situations. And then I have two first aid uh, self heals. Moving on to the gloves, 960 base armor, 1256 and firearms. Savage crit hit chance is increased by 7% out of targets. We all know what Savage is and it has SMG crit hit damage and a crit hit chance. Moving on to the holster, uh, 1267, 1267, and 1266. Uh, great rolls across the board, which the armor was a little higher, and then on the major attributes, 7890. So that is my Alpha Bridge build that I tend to run in the DZ, but uh, we're going to go on and we're going to go to a another build. And this build is my Predator's Mark build. As you can see, 399.4k uh, DPS, 310 toughness, and skill power 152. Uh, weapons, lightweight M4, 21.7k base damage, brutal, adept, and fierce. 116.5% magazine size, crit damage, crit chance, crit chance, headshot damage, accuracy, crit hit damage, stability, crit hit chance, and then crit hit damage, optimal range, and stability. Uh, Navy MP5, 21.6k base damage with competent, brutal, and fierce. And this is the same one that I've used in the last build with the same attachments. I'll slow it down in case you want to pause it. But basically, it's the trifecta on optics, small muzzle um, that you would want in your attachments as far as crit hit damage, headshot damage, and crit hit chance. Moving on to the gear. Vigorous chest piece, uh, great base armor, 1998. Uh, that was a, actually a year after I graduated high school. But anyways, that just tells you how old I am. And then the major attributes, 10.5% exotic damage resilience, 16.462 in health, and ammo capacity. And in the mod slots, 253 firearms, 29.38 skill power, and then 250 firearms with 31.11 skill power. Moving on to the mask, 12.61 and electronics, 9.51 and base armor, which that was higher, major attributes is 4% crit hit chance. You could always opt in for uh, the extra skill power here if you chose to. Uh, and that would give you, what, another 9k that would put you in the 160s. Um, as you can see on this mask here, where it's rolled to firearms and it has the skill power on it. Now, if I wanted to dish out more damage, I could easily switch to this with the burn resistance and then have less skill power. Um, it all depends on if I'm running solo. If I'm running solo, then I use the build that, I, that I'm currently on now. But if I'm in a group with a healer and don't necessarily need to quite rely on my heals constantly, then I will switch to this because then I would be a primary DPS damage player and I would be rely relying on my paladin or my healer in my group for their heals along with the others in my group. But going back to the original mask, 
and then the mod slots I have 258 firearms and 3138 skill power moving on to the knee pass 1640 and base armor uh, great firearms roll 15,724 in health with disrupt resistance shock resistance and burn resistance and in the mod slots 265 firearms 2839 skill power and five and a half percent first aid self heal specialized backpack 1308, 1269, and firearms. Roll to health. The minor attributes is bleed resistance, um, which does come in handy here for predator mark builds, such things like that. But I prefer ammo capacity, especially if I'm on a rogue tear and just ripping people a new one. And that way I don't have to reload. But in the mod slot, 258 stamina, uh, 2882 skill power, and 26% first aid self heals. Moving on to the gloves, SMG damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Uh, 994 base armor, 1250 and firearms. And moving on to the holster, and this is where I desperately need to find a better holster. As you can tell, it has measly stats in firearms and stamina, but a mediocre, decent stat in electronics, 1247, and in the majors, it is rolled to health. Now, uh, with better rolls, uh, my stamina to overall toughness would go up. Uh, a little bit and then my firearms would also go up as far as damage dealing and in my mod slot 6% first aid self heal so you probably have a better holster out there but as you can see I just shot plenty enough damage and when applying the bleed they just bleed all over the place and they flop around like trout and then going back to the original build that I can't because my skills are on cooldown and I'm just a numb nuts. But as you can see, my, my heals come back uh, adequately uh, fast enough as long as you know how to bob and weave and move in the DZ. <coughs> Everybody always says, you know, you either need skill haste or skill power or you need equivalent of both. Um... I highly disagree to a certain extent. It all depends on the player's skills and their mobility. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Reggie Merck, as you see me roll around the dark zone, um, he don't really rely on skill power that much. He relies more on his footwork and actually dishing out enough damage and uh, a teammates such as myself as far as for heals, but for the most part, it's just natural skill as far as he knows how to move back and forth in the DZ and doesn't really need that much skill power. And as you can see in my Splatter Squad videos, he does a bang up job. And then, you know, if you want to proc everything, as you can see, You do quite enough damage to lay waste to pretty much everything in its path. But this video is going long enough. That's two builds that I particularly run in the DZ. And I'll give you a quick glimpse of the others that I run. Uh, and I'm a numb nuts again. But as you can see, that's my uh, Skulls build that I usually run in the DZ. Works out really nice, has great survivability, and dishes out tons of damage. Uh, then there I have a Banshee build that's pure DPS. Then I have a Tactician's build. And then a Firecrest. And then back to the Pred. So it all depends on the situation. I pretty much have a build for every situation there possible. Uh, but for the most part, I do run the Skulls uh, build in the DZ when DPS and damage is needed and survivability. Or this Predator's Mark build as you see here. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below let me know what you guys think uh how you run your builds and how you build uh you know whatever gear set it may be uh, like i said my particular way of building thing is roll everything to firearms and one thing electronics and then try to you know accumulate mods to uh pick up where you're lacking at and what areas that you are and more or less it would be like in the uh toughness stamina error uh, area um, but you like I said you can have stamina mods with health or you can have firearms mods with health or electronics mods with health to compensate for the lack of health and not have anything rolled to health other than your holster but that's just the way I build things let me know how what you guys think and how you build things and uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button uh, if you're new to the channel welcome don't forget to check out the links in the description below and we'll see you guys
Thank <laughs> you.